Hey. Ugh. Hey. My name is Ruben and this is my day in the life of a researcher for the NHS. So as a researcher for the NHS I currently work on um, one main study called the PATH study. It's an EU funded study that is looking at alleviating stigma associated with perinatal mental illness. When I say perinatal mental illness I mean like postnatal depression or mild to moderate forms of postnatal depression and anxiety in mothers and fathers. Um, it's an evaluative study, so I'm actively overseeing the evaluation of this massive multi-million dollar, well, euro um, project, and I have written a few protocols and stuff, well, research studies coming out from that massive um, project, essentially. Uh, and my day-to-day -day activities is managing and overseeing those protocols, all the studies, um, actively liaising with or my colleagues um, across the EU, nationally and locally. Um, I it, it, it's a lot. I love it. Um, it's a slight deviation away from ecology, but in a way, humans are animals. So I'm kind of fulfilling um, that satisfaction in ways. Um, but yeah. Like, I feel like I need to show you how I'm able to do this all from working from home. So my day normally starts at 8.30 a.m. Um, I just begin to like plan what I'm gonna do. It normally takes a few minutes, but I then will begin to think about what I'm gonna wear. But first I have to have a shower and this normally takes a second and I'm done <laughs> um, but um, yeah I then have breakfast which is just mainly just muesli a bit of fruit and nuts something quick but keeps me full up until midday and then I check my emails and this go out throughout the day but I normally begin checking my emails so just answering a few from like, the previous evening then going to meetings normally team meetings, other meetings, cross-border meetings, but a lot of meetings too. And then my bulk of my work is the PATH protocol, essentially. This protocol is mainly uh, looking at the face-to-face -face elements. Um, I write a few sections. I think I'm looking at the background at the moment. So um, reading papers online, getting information and answering comments from um, the research and governance and the research facilitator, um, my essentially my boss that has done a brief review of what's been done and I'm just answering that. Have a bit of lunch, quick, bang, easy, go back to work and yeah, just answering calls. So a lot of my work is like managing the sites that are running prior um, research projects I've, I've written, um, just seeing everything's okay, chilling, relaxing. This is also very important from working at home like being at a desk all day you can't do it's impossible so i like to just kill some time um looking outside going back to work Webinars and what same old and, that's and fine. yeah i think that's basically my whole day um i like to look outside a lot just taking the sights looking at sunset and kind of just contemplate um what i've been doing <sighs> okay well, that concludes um, my day in a life or working from home as a researcher for the NHS or just a researcher just in general. Um, even though this is in psychological research, this day is actually quite typical of, I think, in all domains of science. I think there's this interpretation that you are always working on a field, working on, you know, in extravagant locations and, you know, really exotic and working with exotic, you know, species and that's not always the case. I think 80% of your time is quite typical of what I've just shown you. Um, and that doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean it's boring. Like I love my job, you know, I love um, actively reading papers, actively contributing to research um, and hopefully this shows you an alternative route that 
studying zoology or ecology can take you. Um, I think a lot of people are just often a bit disillusioned and hopefully you can see that you can use uh, a degree in ecology and zoology in various different ways and this is one of many. Um, but yeah, thank you for listening and tuning in. Peace.